everyone, it's Kim, and today I'm here to share with you my uh, design team project for Craft Supplies 1. And um, first of all, before I get too far into my project here, I just want to say thank you to everyone who participated in the YouTube Hop, and congratulations to all the winners. And um, if you aren't sure who won, please go and check out the video um, that I have posted for the YouTube Hop winners. But the winner for my channel was the Robin Laura. So hi, Laura, and congratulations to you. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who participated, and also welcome to the new subbies, because uh, I've gotten some amazing messages from you guys, and I really, really appreciate it. So I just want to say thank you. Okay, so let's get on with this project for Craft Supplies 1. So I'm sure you saw at the photos in the beginning, I have altered a um, cigar box. And this is one I've had in my stash for a while, and um, I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. But I had this um, Tim Holtz tissue paper in my stash for a bit, too, and I got it in a swap from my, son, my friend Sandy, and uh, she sent me, like, a nice big piece of it. So I thought, you know, I'm going to play around with that. And because I had got in my DT kit this month a great deal of black, I thought, you know what? And I also got these really cute little blue flowers here, right in there. And please excuse my nails, but I've been working. Um, I thought, you know, blue and black, my favorite, favorite color combination. It just reminds me of a box from Tiffany's. It reminds me of Paris. So that was my inspiration for doing this box. Um, so it's sort of a Tiffany-inspired region box, I guess. So let me get started. As I said, it's a cigar box, and I've covered it with the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper here, which you can see all in the background. And then I took some of my Lindy's, and I took the uh, Tiffany Lou Blue and the Canterbury Bell Blue, I believe, and the Frozen Jack Frost. And I just started layering those three colors on top. Um, one is more turquoise, one is more blue, and of course the frozen Jack Frost is the white. And then after I had, you know, sprayed it on and dried in between each layer, um, I decided to add a bit of texture paste, which you can see here, which is just one of my um, little stamps that I have, or one of my stencils that I have, just random circles. So I've put that kind of all over the box, and you can see more of it here. And as we go along, I'll share with you what else I had done. Um, when we get to those spots, and um, after I had done the texture paste on the box, I started to embellish. So one of the first pieces I did was this gorgeous, gorgeous chandelier here. This is a Gina's design piece, and really simple. All I did was um, I gave it a coat of black paint, and then I got out my um, Ranger embossing powder in black, and I just embossed the whole thing. And I had out my, um, let me see if I have it handy here, actually I do. I had this out, which was pretty handy, my Adirondack um, alcohol ink in silver, and I'll show you why I had that out in a minute, but I had it out and I had used it some with a brush, so I just took what was left of the brush and I just kind of brushed over the um, chandelier a bit and it just kind of picked up the um, the sort of detail that's on the uh, chandelier. So you can just barely see it. I'm not sure if you can. You can see some up here, but I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's just very, very light, just a bit of silver on here, just to give it a bit of dimension. So after I had done that and adhered it, I got out my flowers from Julie that she sent in my DT kit, gorgeous flowers. And this flower here and this flower here were from the Black Spray, the their fabric flowers and they came on a spray, um, so I cut the spray apart and I used the, the little rosebud and the larger flower here. I made this flower here out of some muslin and I, I actually um, followed a tutorial by um, a little shabby chic, Trisha, um, and where she rips the muslin and then glues it and then cuts like a little fringe in it. So you can see here that it makes it quite dimensional. And then in the center of the flower, I've added one of Julie's um, beautiful little parchment flower roses here. So that's what I did for the handmade flower. Over here is a larger black rose, and this is also from Craft Supplies 1. This is one of the paper ones. 
and you can see in here the little white flower and these little blue sort of porcelain roses here also from Julie's store and came in my DT kit this month that was one of the color inspirations for this project were these little flowers and then here these are some little acrylic flowers in black also from craft supplies one of course and another one down here more of the little blue and white flowers from Julie's store another in there and there's another one of those beautiful parchment roses that are my favorite from craft supplies one and then here um, these are new this month to the store these are little tiny rosebuds and Julie sent uh, each of us these in a, in a great deal of different colors and you'll see me on another project using these as well and then I have a little Tim Holtz um, tag here that says inspire and this is a vintage um, pen nib from my stash and it has black on it and I've gone over everything with um, some texture paste and gesso as you can see and here these are also from craft supplies one that came in my DT kit this month these little white berries I just love them They're kind of like baby's breath I guess and I put some more up here too but I really liked how it just sort of added to the flower spray that I had going on and then there's another one of the acrylic flowers another little rose right there and another one of these beautiful little um, blue porcelain roses and underneath it all I've got some um, cheesecloth as well and you can see it tucked back in here too and also in the flower I've tucked some cheesecloth in between you can see it in there in between the layers of the muslin there's cheesecloth in there I wanted it to look really really shabby um, and then of course here you see this is just some white seam binding from my stash I just added that to um, make a little bow on the front so that's basically the top of the box and then around the edge of the box I've used this beautiful um, trim which is a double layered trim and it's black um, satin and lace hang on guys I'll be right back sorry about that um, so as I was saying this is a double layer um, black satin trim with lace one of my favorites just gorgeous and also under here you can see more of the texture paste that I did and more of the um, tissue paper and all the colors and sprays that I did now I want to talk about um, what I did for feet here these are some of the filigree pieces that Julie sells in her store and they're actually copper um, a copper looking color and what I did was I got out my alcohol ink in the silver this one and I brushed it over um, all of the filigree pieces and then I just took the filigree piece and bent it over the side of the um, box and they make really great feet I'm very very happy with these they worked out really really well um, and they bend quite easily and you can see there's another one right there so I did that all the way around on the four sides so there's four feet there's another one there and the other one there so super easy to do um, and you can change these to any color using alcohol ink or paint or <laughs> I was thinking of doing them black but I thought silver would maybe just add a little bit of sparkle which uh, I thought would be cute so here on the front I've taken some more um, cheesecloth right here and then this piece here is another charm from craft supplies one one of my favorites it's a little heart with wings and I just put that on the front with some cheesecloth behind it so and you can see here in the corner there's more texture paste and more here as well so that's basically the outside of the box and there's another shot of the feet and they it they, it stands up beautifully like it, it works really well these are great to bend for feet so um, just an idea and now on the inside of the box um, I didn't use the tissue paper I used the Prima Divine paper because it had this beautiful um, turquoise color again so I covered the bottom with that and then here this is um, some Chinese braid from craft supplies one in black and I just outlined the box I thought it it worked really well having the black and turquoise and then up here on the top again more of the Prima Divine paper and then this is a steampunk doily from Gina's and um, one of the 
little chipboard cameos from Gina's as well. And what I did with that was um, the background I painted white, just with regular white acrylic paint. And then I got out my um, script stamp, and I used the um, the perfect medium, the Ranger, the clear ink stamped it and then I used some recollections embossing powder in the blue the same color as the box so it picked up the script you can see there and then the the lady for the cameo again I just got out my black embossing powder and I just gave her really a couple of good coats so she was nice and shiny um, with just black embossing powder and again it just picked up the colors of the box of the black and you know, the sort of uh, French and Tiffany-inspired thing that I was going for. So that is the inside of the box. And there is the outside once again. And all of the beautiful, beautiful, yummy goodies from Julie's store, Craft Supplies 1. So um, if you have any questions about my project, please ask, and I am happy to answer. Um, leave a comment or subscribe. I love to hear from you. And of course, the link to Julie's wonderful store is down below, so don't forget to go and check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!